equestrian friends it's me lisa the budget equestrian welcome back to another video so sometimes we get to buy new tack and it's so exciting you go into the tack store or you see something online either a bridle or a halter or even a new saddle and it's been my experience that even though it's really exciting to get a new piece of equipment when i get it home and go to use it on my horses it really isn't quite the same because it needs to be broken in so today I wanted to share with you how you can soften and break in leather and get that brand new bridle, saddle, halter, whatever, and have it so that it's just perfect and ready to go on your horse. So I just got a new bridle for Frisbee and it's a really beautiful bridle and it's not a really inexpensive bridle, but it's not a super, super expensive bridle, but it's really nice leather. But even though the leather is pretty high quality, it's still kind of stiff and it needs to be broken in. And I'm gonna walk you through the steps of what I do in order to get the leather soft and make it perfect for when I put it on my horses. So the first thing that I do is grab my leather cleaning kit. This has everything that I need for cleaning and softening leather. I have my different cleaners, I have my different leather conditioners, and I also have a few other little things that I keep in this little tote. So the first thing that I do when I get a new piece of leather tack is to completely disassemble it. I take off all of the hang tags and just have all the pieces of leather separate so that it's easier for me to work with. And that's what I'm doing here with my bridle. And once I have the pieces of the bridle all disassembled, then I grab some hydrophane leather dressing to work into the leather. If you've never heard of hydrophane, it's basically a leather dressing and it's formulated to soften and condition leather. It also helps to protect the leather by waterproofing it. This will in turn help the leather last longer and make it easier to clean in the future. Hydrophane protects new leather and it also can rejuvenate old leather. So if you have an old bridle or something that you found and you wanted to see if you could make it look new again, the hydrophane leather dressing can really help to restore the leather and make it almost as good as new. So like I said, the first thing that I do is take the hydrophane and I open it up and apply it to all of the leather pieces of my bridle. I apply it using a soft cloth a little bit at a time and then I make sure to give the dressing enough time to penetrate the leather. I also don't want to have it sitting on the leather so what I'll do is wipe off any of the excess. After the leather has sat for about an hour or so, then it's time to apply a conditioner. And one of my favorite conditioners that I like to use is the Antares Leather Conditioner. Not only does it work really well, but it smells great too. And when I'm applying the conditioner, I basically just put it in my hands, rub it between my fingers, and then just rub it all over the tack. If you've never used this type of a conditioner before and you do decide to try it, you will be amazed at number one, how good it smells, but also how well it works to help to soften the leather. And if there is any excess conditioner on the bridle or the leather pieces, I also go ahead and wipe those off with a soft cloth too. And then once I put my bridle together, it is all ready to be used. I found that by using the hydrophane and then the leather conditioner, it really helps to soften the leather and make it more pliable. So you can take a brand new bridle, something that you probably wouldn't have gone to a horse show in. You can use some hydrophane and leather conditioner and that bridle will be beautiful and ready for you to go into the show ring. And the bridle won't look brand new. It won't look like you just ran out to the store, bought the bridle, came home and put it on your horse before your class. And like I said earlier, the hydrophane works really well on inexpensive leather as well. I have a couple of bridles and by putting on the hydrophane, it kind of brings some new life into them, makes the leather really pliable, and it may not be as buttery soft as, you know, a really expensive bridle, but it definitely brings new life back into the leather. So if you've been putting off getting something new for your horse because you dread breaking in the leather, now you really don't have to dread it. Just a couple of tips and just a couple of things, and you can make your brand new tack items soft, supple, and look incredible on your horse. At one time, the hydrophane dressing was really hard to find, but now you can pretty much find it everywhere. Riding Warehouse carries it, Dover carries it, Amazon even carries it. It isn't the cheapest dressing, but it lasts a long time and it goes a long way. The container of hydrophane that I have was 500 milliliters, and I think it cost around $23 
which really isn't bad considering how long it lasts. And it's also great because of what it does for the tack. I'm serious, if you have not tried this leather dressing, you really should. You can go online and see all of the different reviews that people have left saying how great it is, how wonderful it is. I haven't really found too many negative comments or reviews on this product. And just like everything, if you use it the way it's intended, you'll probably be really happy with the results. I know I'm really happy with how this bridal turned out and I was able to put it on Frisbee and he looks great in it and it's nice and soft. And it's only gonna get softer the longer I have the bridal. But even if I had to go to a horse show in a week or so, this bridal would be ready to go, which I'm really grateful for. And that's why I wanted to share this with you because sometimes it just helps to have someone give you their pointers and show you different things that you can do so you can make the most of the time that you have with your horse. I hope you found this information helpful and useful. And if you've watched this much of the video, why not hit that subscribe button so you can watch all of the other videos I have showing you how you can be a budget equestrian too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.